morning. We are taking Imagine It on the road. Once again, we are down here at the Imagination Station with Carl Nelson. And boy, do we have a setup today. Hey, Carl. Yep. Hi. We are going to talk about magnesium and dry ice and how they kind of interact with one another. All right. When I hear dry ice, I know I need to put on my gloves just in case. Yep. And we're actually, the first thing we're going to do is I got a tiny little strip of magnesium metal here okay. that I'm going to have you ignite. Now, you do need to point out that when magnesium burns, it emits UV light. We don't want to look at that. So for you and I, I've got a little safety shield here. People at home will be fine. Okay. Um, and our camera guy is actually looking through a, a lens there, so he'll be okay. So I just want you to see how brightly this burns when you ignite it. Okay. So, so if you're not awake yet, you will be. Yep. All right. Go ahead and just hit the end of it okay. with the torch. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we oh, lost it. Go ahead. Okay. And Okay, so. Oh, wow. Now, wow. we're protecting our eyes, but it's actually, you can see it's lighting up the tablecloth there pretty well, mm -hmm. and it's giving off that powder. That's magnesium oxide. Yeah, you can smell that. That's, it's sort of a familiar smell, maybe because of the segments. I don't uh, know. Why. Perhaps. We, we did something similar to this in the past. Okay. But that's magnesium burning in oxygen. Mm -hmm. We're going to change it up a bit and burn magnesium not in oxygen, but in carbon dioxide. Mm, all now, right. Normally, and it burns would, very quickly. It, it did there. Okay, because it was burning with a lot of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Instead, we're gonna add a bunch here. I'll give you some magnesium filings. All right. Go ahead and dump some magnesium into that okay, little you tell divot. Me how much. So we got a block of dry. Keep going. Got a block of dry ice. We're gonna add some magnesium filings Is in that there. Good? Yeah, keep going. A little bit All more. Right. A little bit more. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. 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 Uh, that's All right. Okay. 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 So we got quite a bit of magnesium yeah. inside carbon dioxide. Normally, you would use carbon dioxide in a fire extinguisher to put out a fire. Oh, sure. Because there's no oxygen. Okay. okay? But um, we have a little coming out of the top, right? In well, theory? What we're going to do is we're actually going to cap it. Oh. So we're going to ignite this. We're going to cap it with this part of the CO2. It's going to be completely encased in a carbon dioxide atmosphere. Hmm. And we're going to see if it continues to burn. OK, sounds now, good. There could be some sparks involved here. So why don't you go put yeah, the right. face shield on? Of course. I'm going to get rid of the excess magnesium. Wouldn't be an Imagine It segment without sparks and danger. Put mine on. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to have you light the magnesium filings. All right. And then I'm going to drop this on top, and then we're just going to kind of watch the light show. All right, you tell me when to stop, okay? Okay, so you got to bring it in really close and get it really hot. Like that? Yep. Just hold it one spot. Keep going. Okay. Got to get the whole thing to go. Okay. And you can pull the torch away. Okay, it's, a, it's burning. Okay, now can oh. we look at this one since it's encased? We can. The wow. uh, carbon dioxide gas is going to block any UV light Ooh. from coming out. Uh huh. But it's going to get incredibly bright. And smoky. Fact, and that's magnesium oxide coming off. And wow. hopefully we don't set off the fire alarm here in the building. Hey, if we do, it'll be a great moment. How about that? <laughs> but look at how brightly that is burning. That's amazing. Fully encased, too. And so what's happening here is that the magnesium is actually combusting with the carbon dioxide. It's releasing oxygen from the CO2, uh -huh. reacting. And inside there, the temperature can be reaching over 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow. But because the dry ice is so cold, that's why it's not immediately melting? Well, actually, even though it is reaching that high of a temperature, mm -hmm. when you do the calculations, we're only losing a small fraction of the carbon dioxide gas That's because amazing. it has uh, heat capacity enough that it will not just completely melt away. Now, I have time for one more question. What if we hadn't have capped this? What would happen? Um, we would have seen a bigger version of what we saw over here with the thin film. But it would have burned out quickly? It would have burned out relatively quickly. But since we had so much inside here, when this is done burning, inside there's going to be a little golf ball sized puck of pure carbon. Huh. Right? We've taken yeah. the carbon dioxide, we sure. burned up the oxygen, and we're going to be left with just pure carbon wow. and some magnesium oxide. Almost looks like a very cool Halloween decoration. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much. Of course, amping it up down here on location. That's this week's Imagine It. And just a reminder, Lucas County children 12 and under get in free today with a paid adult.